Hi guys, this is Maya from Transformation Tutoring and in this video I will teach you an easy way of how to predict the product of an intramolecular aldol condensation reaction. So here you can see that we have this question that is asking us what is the product of the following intramolecular aldol condensation reaction and it's giving us this reactant and this uh, reagent with it, this starts material and reagent. So the first thing that will happen is notice that this reagent is a base, K plus, OH minus. And what will happen first is we will deprotonate an alpha hydrogen. Alpha hydrogen is a hydrogen that is on the carbon that is next to a double bond O. So my molecule is very symmetrical, so these double, two double bond O's are the same. I could look at either one. But if I look at this double bond O, and I can even highlight it, the carbon that is next to the double bond O is called alpha carbon, and the hydrogens that it has are called alpha hydrogens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and my base will take this alpha hydrogen and it will put a minus charge right here. So I'm going to, and I'm going to number my carbon so I don't get anything lost. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six carbons. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have double bond O here, H, double bond O here, H. And let me just erase my numbers so they don't get in the way. And I took off that hydrogen, the alpha hydrogen, so now I have a negative charge on this carbon. Now I could have used the other alpha carbon on the double bond O and the hydrogen on that carbon, but again, because the molecule is symmetrical, in this case it does not matter. So what do I do next? I go ahead and I will attack the double bond O that is on, um, on the other end. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attack this double bond O and I'm going to push my electrons to the oxygen. To draw this correctly, what I can do again is I can number. And let me change my color for numbering. I'm going to number the atoms that are attaching to each other. So this carbon is one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm making a five member ring. Right away I can tell A cannot be the right choice because I'm making a five carbon ring. So let's go ahead and draw five carbon ring. One, two, three, four, and five. And numbering is really, really helpful in organic chemistry especially when dealing with um, uh, intramolecular aldol condensation reactions, you can easily lose or gain carbons or put the bond in the wrong place. So I definitely suggest numbering. So now that I know that I have created a five carbon ring and I numbered it, I'm going to attach everything I haven't taken care of yet. My number one has a C double bond OH on it. So I'm going to draw a C double bond OH like this. And what else am I missing? Well, my number five has an O minus. Okay, so we're almost done with our aldol condensation. This is pretty much almost it. But in the following step, what will happen is uh, my O minus can get protonated from CH3OH, or actually water would be better. It can get protonated from water. And I'm showing this mechanism, but this is just multiple choice. So in this case, uh, you would not really have to, but it's useful to see it. So now I have OH. And then under heat conditions, I can, my OH can leave and I can form a double bond between alpha and beta carbons. Alpha carbon, so let's show it and let me tell you what alpha carbon and beta carbon, where they're located. So alpha carbon is a carbon next to the double bond O, so the carbon that is next to C double bond O is my alpha carbon 
and beta carbon is the carbon next to alpha that's one carbon away from double bond O. So what I can do is under heat conditions OH will leave and we will do an elimination reaction that forms the double bond between alpha and beta carbons. Did I miss a did I miss any any uh, atoms? I don't think so. I did not miss any groups. So this must be my answer. So let's look to see which one of these it is. A is not right because I have the wrong ring. B has a methyl group that I don't see here. So that can be it. Now if you look at C, we have a cyclopentene, which is what we have here with the CHO. CHO is the aldehyde C double bond OH. So C looks like the correct answer here. And D looks very similar to it, but it has the double bond in the wrong position. Remember the product of aldo condensation is double single double bond O. It's called alpha beta unsaturated ketone. So if we look at D, we have double single single, and then we'll have double bond O. So that can't even be the product of aldo condensation. And we could have eliminated it right away, actually. I really hope that you found this tutorial useful and I look forward to making more organic chemistry and general chemistry videos for you. Have a day full of beautiful chemistry molecules and a lot of practice and good luck on your upcoming tests.